On the 22nd of January, 2019, UK journalist Joe Stack reported UFOs over the civil parish and cathedral city of Chichester in West Sussex, England. Mr. Stack reported that one John Strodwick, 61 years of age, had observed three saucers over his home, all with very bright circular lights beaming down. Mr. Strudwick stated that the sighting left him a bit scared, confused, and stuck to the spot for quite some time. A link to the Chichester Observer article is provided in the text description. Older ufologists studying since the 1970s may immediately recall the UFO report of one Francis Chichester. He was a famous British pioneer aviator and sailor who learned to fly in 1929 at Brooklands in Surrey, England. Soon after, he bought a de Havilland gypsy moth, which he named Madame Elijah. In 1931, he made this famous solo flight from New Zealand to Australia by way of Norfolk Island and Lord Howe Island. 34 years later, in 1965, then still Mr. Francis Chichester revealed a tic-tac-like UFO sighting during that arduous 1931 flight. This is how he reported it. It was a perfect shape. It was it was shaped it was sort of more like a pearl with a with a tail. And I watched this thing, and 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 suddenly it disappeared. And I was I I thought, well, am I um, seeing things? I'd, I'd had a very grueling flight. I'd been waiting for I had engine trouble, and I'd been waiting for hours expecting to go into the sea, you know. Um, however, suddenly this thing reappeared coming towards me, and I thought, well, I'm not going to let it go this time, uh, and I kept my look fixed on it, <clears throat> and it was approaching fairly fast, and then suddenly, um, gradually rather, it, it began to thin out, and it vanished in front of me, and before my eyes, it uh, became a sort of ghost. I could see the water, the waves of the sea through it for one instant, and then it, went, it vanished. Chichester's sighting is significant because it took place well prior to the Trinity event of 1945. Two years after making his UFO report, on 28 May 1967, Chichester sailed his catch, Gypsy Moth 4, back into Plymouth to complete a solo circumnavigation of the world from west to east via the Great Capes in just 226 days. He was knighted on the 7th of July with Queen Elizabeth II using the very same sword used by the first Queen Elizabeth to knight Sir Francis Drake. pink ribbon of the order rested on Sir Francis' shoulders. How right it was that he should be within sight of his beloved boat, a boat which had brought him 29,000 miles to the greatest honor of all. <laughs> 